Welcome back, sir. Got I feel like we got to start with the suit. Just asking me, I mean, did you put that together for media day, or is that just like something you just grabbed out of the closet? It's just there. All me, baby. No, just kidding. My mom, she's a fashion designer, so she's uh, she's doing all my suits. She's doing all my stuff. So, Mylon Phillips, in California, oh my collection. She's doing a, a lot of different things with uh, her fashion, and as well as like a bunch of stuff. That's awesome. Well, shout out to mom. It's a good looking yeah. suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll Love you, about- mom. Talk about the ride right now, man. I mean, obviously, the, like things have been very successful for you early on in the UFC. What's what's the feeling like right now as to where you stand? Uh, it's just it's a journey. It's a ride. You know, you're gonna have fun. Sometimes serious, sometimes less serious. But I'm enjoying it, and I'm gonna go all the way to the top. And I'm super excited. But I'm focused, and I'm ready to do whatever it takes to get myself to that next level every single day. And I have seen huge leaps in my in growth in my abilities as a fighter also as a human being and it's just an amazing process it's awesome did you envi- i mean obviously everybody's confident everybody gets the ufc they think yeah it's gonna be great but did you envision this type of success so early in your ufc run uh it's a day in day out type of thing you of course you want to envision i already knew i was going to be the champ from the beginning but it's more than that it's what you do in the moment it's not what you're going to do it's not what you say you're going to do but it's what you're doing right now and enjoying that moment the work that you put in, the the things that you enjoy as well. It's uh, it's just a part of the process of me being myself, being authentic and loving what I do. And uh, I appreciate like everything that that's all the people that's been with me as well. That's awesome. And already, already ranked in the USC as well. I mean, was that an accomplishment? Is that, I mean, obviously, like you said, the goal is to be champion, but just, just getting there, is that, uh, you know, an accomplishment or do you not even let yourself in, enjoy that moment? Yeah, I mean, it's an accomplishment, but... <laughs> You know, yesterday is another day. It's it, that day's over. I'm I'm ready to make more things of growth. I'm not gonna look at my at my work. Look, you know, back on the things that I've made. It's cool. It's cool. But I'm not one of those guys. It's like, oh, I made it to the UFC. Ha <laughs> ha. Sit around. No. It's like, okay, what's next? What's next? Who's next? Get this guy out of the way. Let's freaking do this. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm just ready to go all the way and and take take the top off in my own head and push those boundaries. And I can't wait to see what it brings. It's awesome. So knowing the ultimate goal, I mean, you were supposed to face a sunset, right? I mean, a guy that had been around, he's got this proven track record. Doesn't work out, you got to face Holly instead. I mean, was there any, I don't want to say like disappointment, but I mean, I think you know what a win over a sunset would have meant, and maybe this one won't mean as much. Was there any kind of frustration or disappointment in the change? Of course, we're human, you know, and I'm going to see like, damn, all right, that was a big opportunity. But this is another opportunity. And if you look, if I look on the past and try to change, I can't do anything about that. There is literally nothing I could do about that. I hope we get a fight in the future, you know, but I got this guy Paiva in front of me and he's trying to take my head off. So let's uh, take care of business right here with this guy. And then I'm going to be able to go on to the next thing. Did you know anything about him at all? I mean, obviously he wasn't in your weight class until now. So, I mean, did you know anything about him as an opponent when you accepted I actually did not, but I do know that, you know, he's from uh, Team Alpha Male, and he's a game opponent. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He's got some knockouts, and he's got, what, 20-something pro fights. He's got a lot of fights, and uh, it's a game opponent, and I just – that's exactly what we need. We need guys that try to come hit me. That's what I want, and that's going to – help me to get those performances that I need that's going to bring me to the next level. And honestly, from the truth perspective, I just see there's levels to this shit. And, like, you're not on my level. You got to bring bring it up. Bring your your game up, you know? And even though he is a replacement and and not as accomplished as the Sunset, I mean, he was ranked, albeit in the flyweight division. So, I mean, a win here, it is meaningful. So have you thought about, you know, where you proceed or what comes out, like what the next step of that journey is with, with a victory here? Yeah, of course you want to have a plan A, plan B, plan C, but you don't want to look too far ahead. You know, take your umbrella out when it starts to rain. You know what I mean? So let's get the job done right here Saturday night. I'm going to have have a hell of a performance and have fun. You guys are going to see the Matrix, the Shadow Kai, the super awesome style, and uh, that's uh, bringing it to the next level. That's awesome. Last thing for me, I mean, what do you like? What is the goal? I mean, is it just again on this journey? I mean, a win's a win, right? But do you do you go in there thinking like I got to do something flashy? I got to do something. I got to do something that's a little bit different, or do you think no? Nah, I just I just got to go win. You know, I just got to be me. I am flashy. I am. I'm also basic. Do we put in all of the work? We do everything that we can from the basics to the most fundamental to the advanced basics. And me doing something flashy or doing something crazy or doing a flip is not out of the ordinary. It's just me being myself. So 
all I want is when I step in there, I'm just playing that game and I'm being 100% myself. That's, that's all I can do. And it's go there, we're going to go up and, you know, try to do all the types of things we can and have high hopes and have your dreams up high, but I'm bringing it back to reality. We're going to bring the thunder and lightning down, make it rain. Hey, Kyler. <clears throat> You, uh, you do a really good backflip and a really good side flip. Where did you learn that from? Uh, you know, I was born with legs, bro, and I had an opportunity to try to do a backflip when I was in middle school. And I did, I did a little bit of breakdancing and stuff, and then my dad had me doing some flips into the pool and stuff when I was a kid, always pushing those, uh, those fear things. But, I mean, everybody could do this stuff, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, just practice, that's all. <laughs> So, I mean, so you learned it when you were little. So did, were you showing off at school, doing it all the, all, all the time as well? Uh, yeah, we. I had a couple friends actually. You know, it's crazy. Just sticking with what you do is going to bring you to the next level. And I've seen so many talented fighters coming up to the years because I started this one back when I was three years old. When I was like 12, I was already planning on being a UFC champion. And uh, I've seen a lot of talent come through. But it's that persistence. It's that flowing through and just keep going. You could be hard for one day, but you gotta be, you gotta be persistent over and over and over and over again. Those are the type of people that are gonna succeed. And like, I'm just, I'm, you know, not talking about it. We've just been doing it. And like, I don't have to have a camera on me to do it. Maybe I can have just like ten cameras instead and go fight for the UFC and get a knockout. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's looking out over there for it, huh? Talking smack. Um, so with uh, your, your, your last opponent and then your opponent on Saturday, um, they have ties with Team Alpha Male. Um, so that's going to be two, two Team Alpha Male guys if you, if you beat them on Saturday. I mean, do you want a third? Do you want like a if, Garbrandt? Uh, let's take care of this guy. And then whoever's in, in line, yeah, I'm going to take whoever wants to fight me. It's, nobody's really called me out yet, but let's uh, – I like to fight. You know what I mean? I like fighting. I like MMA. I think that's why I'm in this. So – Whoever signs a dotted line, let's go. Let's fight. That's what it's about, right? Right, totally. Um, well, with a sun style, I mean, is that one, is, is that someone that you want? Yeah, if, if he's down to fight, let's do it. You know what I mean? But whatever happens. So many curveballs that happen. It's like, don't ever put, you know, I don't want to put too much fo focus on one thing because might not happen maybe something else happens or whatever he fights somebody gets lined up but i know that my job is to stay ready and when the time comes i'm gonna fight whoever and i'm gonna get that win right and finally for me um there is a big bantamweight um fight in the, in the main event i just want to kind of know your, your thoughts on it man uh I've, I've heard that they trained together before i've seen some you know instagram stuff so i guess on the couch potato that's watching but I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I do have seen Sanheg in super high level. I love love the way he fights. And TJ is just an all around his footwork and his angles and his persistence and his his speed is just uh, on a different level as well. So it's going to be a sick fight, I think. Hopefully, I think it goes a couple rounds before somebody gets knocked out. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.